I recently came across this amazing image reveal animation on Rebel that caught my eye. As you can see, the images reveal themselves in a unique way as you scroll. I spent some time experimenting with clip path to nail down the perfect method to create this effect. After a few attempts, I managed to achieve this slick image reveal animation using scroll trigger. So in today's video, I am going to walk you through how to create this scroll animation yourself. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. For access to the source code, check out the pro membership via the link in the description. Alright, let's dive into the code. Let's begin by setting up a simple navbar with a few placeholder links. For the content, we'll add some sections with dummy text. The specifics of the content don't matter, so feel free to add whatever you like. One important thing to note, we won't be rendering images directly in the HTML. Instead, we'll create rows that will be used within the scroll trigger instance to trigger the animation. Wherever you would like to display an image, add a div with the class name image and assign a unique class to each one. These unique classes will help us to set the background images later on. As you can see, I am adding several image divs with unique class names throughout the content. You don't need to add all of this content, but I am including a bit more to give us plenty of room for scrolling. Alright, that's it for the HTML setup. Now let's move on to the CSS to style the page. First, we set some basic styles to reset the margin, padding and box sizing for all elements. Next, we define the styles for the HTML and body to ensure they take up the full width and height of the viewport and set the default font. We then style the anchor tags and paragraphs to have a consistent font size, weight and color. For images, we make sure they fill their containers and maintain the correct aspect ratio using the object fit cover property. Now let's style our navbar. It will be positioned at the top of the page, stretching the full width of the viewport. We'll add some padding and set it up to use flexbox to align the items within it. Similarly, the footer will be styled to align its item flexibly with padding and a margin to ensure it sits nicely at the bottom of the content. We'll add padding to our sections to give some breathing space around the content. For the layout, we'll create rows and columns with display flex to manage the spacing and alignment of the content. We'll define a class for the mask which will cover the entire image area allowing us to manipulate it later with JavaScript. One important thing to note is that we'll be rendering 9 masks inside each image using JavaScript. This will allow us to manipulate the clip path property dynamically, creating a 3x3 grid layout that reveals different parts of the image as we scroll. The image class will be used to position our images relative to their containers, ensuring they take up the appropriate amount of space with a set aspect ratio. The hero section's main heading will be centered with a large font size, uppercase text and some margin at the top for spacing. For the info section, we'll display the paragraphs using flexbox, justifying content to the end and add some padding and adding some gaps between them. In the hero images section, we'll add a margin at the top to create space before the images appear. For the client section, we'll again use flexbox with each client's list taking up an equal amount of space. In the client's images section, we'll ensure the rows have a specific height.
the product filters will be styled with padding at the bottom and a border to separate it from other sections. For the products section, we'll arrange the images in a column with gaps for better spacing. The above section will have a flex display with the paragraphs having some margin at the top to separate them from other elements. The outro section's rows will have a margin at the top to create spacing from previous sections. We'll set background images for different image classes using the mask divs, ensuring each image is centered and covers its area. Finally, we include the Lanny Smooth Scroll styles to enhance the scrolling experience by overriding the default scroll behavior and adding smooth scrolling. Now, with the CSS done, let's move on to JavaScript to bring this animation to life. First, we register the scroll trigger plugin with GSAP. Next, we initialize Lanny's for smooth scrolling. We set it up to update scroll trigger on scroll events, ensuring our animations are smooth and in sync with the scroll. To keep everything running smoothly, we add Lanis to the GSAP ticker and disable lag smoothing. Now let's define the initial and final clip parts. These clip parts will create a grid pattern for our images for the reveal animation. The initial clip parts set all mask elements to be invisible while the final clip parts reveal them in a 3x3 grid layout. We then create a function called create masks. This function loops through each image container and adds 9 mask divs inside each. These masks will be used to animate the reveal of the images. After creating the masks, we select all rows containing the images and set up the animations. For each row, we select all image containers and their respective masks. We set the initial clip paths for each mask, making them invisible initially. We then create a GSAP timeline for each row configured with scroll trigger. This timeline will trigger when the row enters the viewport starting the animation. To manage the order and timing of the animations, we define an animation order. This order determines which masks will animate and when, creating a staggered reveal effect. Finally, we loop through the animation order and animate each mask to transition from its initial clip path to its final clip path. We set the duration, easing and stagger for each animation to create a smooth and visually appealing effect. That's it. Hope you found the video helpful. See you in the next one.